As much as we villainize cholesterol, it is absolutely essential for our function as humans. Cholesterol is the precursor to all the hormones that we have in our body. So we want a certain amount of it to be able to make estrogen and to make cortisol. Excess cholesterol may mean that that cholesterol ends up in your blood vessels. And when cholesterol ends up in your blood vessels, especially certain types of cholesterol, they can start a destructive campaign in that blood vessel and essentially put you in a place where you may develop plaques that turn into clots, that turn into coronary disease or strokes. So LDL stands for low density lipoprotein. Interestingly, it is a type of ApoB lipoprotein and it tends to be more collecting of cholesterol. So this is going to lead to the cholesterol that stays in the body, but also is able to enter into the vessel wall and create damage that can start a cascade towards disease. So improving LDL would be in some ways similar to how you improve ApoB overall. So you would wanna think about decreasing your consumption of saturated fats, getting exercise, eating nutrient dense foods that are balanced as far as sugar, protein, and fat goes.